This time on Celebrity Diet and Workout Routine, we're going to cover someone who could do with having a little bit more of a positive light shown back on their career that, let's face it, has achieved a lot more outside of being Johnny Depp's wife and a <clears throat> sparring partner. If you haven't guessed who that is yet, then you probably just arrive here from another planet, or you're a fairly devout Quaker who chooses farming over television. And boy, what television that was. Johnny and Amber met on the set of the movie The Rum Diary. Whether that was a mega pint, a mega pint. or just your standard measure is up for debate. As for the diary part, they probably both had them destroyed, so whatever was in them couldn't be used in court against one another. Amber was born April 26, 1986, in Austin, Texas. She has a younger sister, Whitney, and as teenagers, they were both often found to be competing in beauty pageants. Did she ever fight with her sibling over who should win? Possibly. And you can have a decent guess at who the winner of such rivalry would be. Her father owned a small construction company and in his spare time trained horses. An entire herd of horses, perhaps? Sorry, couldn't resist that one. In any case, Amber shared her dad's passion for horses, hunting, and fishing. Of course, her attitude toward hunting fish has probably softened considerably these days since she was cast as Aquaman's love interest, Mara. She has stated that one of the reasons attracting her to the part of Mara, being a strong, independent, self-possessed superhero in her own right, who rejects being called Aquawoman instead of by her own name, and if anybody wants to take up Amber on her stance as strong and independent, then you can trust we're not going to get drawn into the middle of that argument. Amber was raised a strict Catholic by her parents, but by the time she was 16, she dropped out of Catholic high school after an incident involving the death of a young friend in a car accident. She said at the time that God-fearing Texas no longer made her comfortable. The idea that Amber doesn't even fear God is one that seems quite believable. From there, she moved to the more secular Los Angeles to pursue a career in acting and all that goes with it. She really has been nailing that all that goes with it part. Career Amber gained mainstream recognition in 2008 with supporting roles in the Judd Apatow produced stoner comedy Pineapple Express and the martial arts drama Never Back Down, both of which were box office successes. However, after this strong beginning, her career floundered with appearances in little heard of flops such as The Informers and The Joneses opposite David Duchovny and Demi Moore. Variety wrote that Heard more or less steals the show from Moore, but at that point in both their careers, there were very few witnesses to the crime. Heard's other films during this time were either independent films that received only limited theatrical release, or critically panned horror films such as The Stepfather and The Ward. Things began to pick up again in 2015, when she had a prominent supporting role in the comedy drama Magic Mike XXL, playing the love interest of the film's protagonist, Channing Tatum. Like its predecessor, the film was a large box office success, but things really took off for her in 2017, when landing a starring role in the aforementioned Aquaman. Unfortunately, right now in her career, Amber is most famous for her marriage to a certain Mr. Depp. But you didn't come here to hear about that, did you? Actually, you probably did. But this is a fitness and well-being site, so let's leave the conclusions to yourself. Really, what more is there to know? It's one thing to air your dirty laundry in public, and it's another court case entirely as to how that laundry got dirty in the first place. We can only assume that after her morning poop prank, Amber follows a routine a bit like this. Workout Regardless of where you stand in the whole Team Amber, Team Johnny debate, one thing you cannot deny is that she's in great shape. Amber has said that when training for Aquaman, she had to work out five hours a day where the workout would consist of exercises like weight training, martial arts, cardio, etc. When you consider how tight most superhero costumes are, the actors that play them have to be in real primo condition. Amber's workout was a mixture of several routines. However, her regular routine usually consists of weight training and running when she's not shooting. That shooting film not aiming at Johnny's lawyers. Did that running include chasing after Johnny? We wouldn't like to say. Here's how her weekly routine pans out. Circuit routine. 
Amber does five days of weight training in three circuits, divided to train our upper, lower, and core muscles. The training will give you an overall fit and healthy body, and will primarily focus on your core and lower body to provide you with that toned butt and slim waistline. First, however, add a few minutes of warm-up before starting your weight training, and add some stretches. Circuit 3. Exercise in each circuit 4. Reps 20. Sets of each exercise 3. Rest time after the circuit 80 to 120 seconds. Monday first. Weighted squats, barbell squats, banded crab walks, leg press. Second, leg extension, lunges, calf raises, seated calf raises. Third, crunches, leg raises, Russian twist, plank hold. Tuesday, first, push-ups, chest press, dumbbell press, dumbbell flies. Second, wide grip lat pull down, cable rows, dumbbell rows, dumbbell deadlifts. Third, ball plank in and out crunches, hanging leg raises, cable wood chops, side plank to crunch. Wednesday, first, banded squat walks, dumbbell explosive squats, stability squats, leg curls. Second, dumbbell sumo squats, curtsy lunge, stiff leg deadlift, single leg pull downs. Third, incline weight crunches, leg lifts up, scissor kicks, plank reach. Thursday, first, shoulder press, lateral raises, front raise, shrugs. Second, bicep curls, barbell curls, triceps push down, triceps kickbacks. Third, reverse crunches, bicycle crunches, plank twister, plank to toe touch. Friday, first, deep smith machine squats, hack squats, reverse lunges, Bulgarian squats. Second, hip thruster, hip abduction, glutes hyperextension, glutes cable kickbacks. Third, toe touch crunches, hanging leg raises, side high plank, stability ball plank, Saturday and Sunday rest. There is no good workout routine without proper rest. It's important to take a break in the training week to let your muscles regenerate the micro damage that comes, especially with weight training. Moreover, it's important for the body as it is for the mind. Relax, sit back, let yourself breathe. These are the words and guidance of this website and possibly the same advice that may have been handed out by Amber's therapist, Amber Heard Diet Plan. So that was Amber's workout schedule. But as anybody knows, to maintain this kind of shape, you have to have a decent diet. All the working out in the world won't work off a bad diet, especially if that diet consists of the odd mega pint of wine. Amber states that she eats whole foods more. Also, she cooks most of her meals, and even though she loves eating healthy foods when she wants something nice, Amber won't restrict herself, especially from having her specialty fried chicken sandwich. And having a little more of what you find nice is key to keeping you happy. Just make sure it's only a little and not a multi-million dollar settlement. Now, let us offer you a diet plan to help you get a body like Amber Heard. Amber Heard diet includes breakfast, eggs, avocado toast, juice, snacks, almonds or walnuts, green tea or detox tea, lunch, chicken breast, veggies, a small bowl of rice, evening snack, protein smoothie, dinner, salmon or chicken breast, veggies, salad, mental well-being, Ooh, not really sure where to start with this one in regard to Amber. As we all know, good mental health is linked to good physical health. Amber considers herself a bit of a philanthropist and publicly stated the money from the first trial with Johnny would be donated to charity. However, once the next trial kicked in, it seems she actually needed the money for that. We all know what good intentions can be like. You can start the day with them fully at the front of your mind, but then you have to get out of bed and that's where things can start to go wrong. Regardless of it all, putting aside all the toil and strife, I think one thing we can conclude is that Amber is a survivor and we certainly haven't heard the last from her. 
Let's just hope the next time we see her, it's up on the silver screen and not on the security cameras of a courtroom. Conclusion So there you have it. A varied schedule with a good mix of proteins, carbs, and a little fat is what makes Amber Heard look so good. It's now at your disposal to deploy for yourself. Thank you for watching, and please remember, consider all the things you do today so you don't end up in court tomorrow.